welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and a very Merry Christmas to you all. Yes, I'm aware it's February 2024, but hey, as they say, Christmas is always right around the corner. So depending on when you see this video, it might line up correctly. But today, Christmas comes early thanks to my friends over at Fresh Monkey Fiction with a look at two new figures from their Naughty or Nice collection. The first one being the Great Northern Santa. <laughs> These are wild. It's like brawny, right? Also a little bit uh, of a lumberjack Santa. Hey, one thing, Fresh Monkey Fiction right here, Great Northern Santa. The texts on these, it, it just looks really off. It looks like I'm having a seizure reading it just because of the shadow and such, right? It kind of looks like a 3D effect. Change that on the next go around. Anyways, brawny, paper towels fans, men's, women's, whoever, you're going to like this great northern Santa. On the back side of the packaging, all your typical solicits. You get to see all the various Santas and a few which we have yet to cover. You get to read up on the Naughty or Nice collection. And I will put links down in the description below on how you can grab yours. Now, the second Santa. This is a very Santa-centric episode, of course. We have <laughs> one of my favorites in the form of the Barbarian Santa. And when I first saw this, I was like, yeah, okay, wait. When I got him out of the box, it, it totally turned around for me. But yes, this is awesome. He's like the guy from the opening of Gladiator. One of the Germanic tribesmen, right? That's very cool. Same dealio as the previous Santa in terms of the packaging. But like I said, give a good look-see. Watch some of my other videos. You might just see a Santa that meets your needs. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe pour in a little bit of maple syrup. This is a look at the brand new Fresh Monkey Fiction, the Barbarian Santa, and the Great Northern Santa from their Naughty or Nice collection. So if you ho-ho-hos are still here, here's everything out of the packaging. Quite a few accessories between these two Santas. The great Northern Santa comes with a naughty or nice stand. Fits him well. Looks good. Nothing much on the back. And he comes with a couple sugar cookies, which that's a nice touch. You get five of them. Don't lose them. And he can hold them all. He even includes a little cookie Holding hand, it's kind of like a trigger finger hand, but it does the trick. He also comes with a tobacco pipe or a wacky tobacco pipe, whatever you want to say it is, but that is a nice accessory right there. I even love that you can see inside the pipe. And if you're wondering, yes, because of the hands, he can definitely hold it. Because of the articulation, no, you can't actually get him to smoke it. But you do get an ax. Any lumberjack looking Santa Claus definitely needs an ax. It's Perfectly done. That's a nice looking axe. And yes, he does come with the corresponding hands to hold said axe. Or if you want to go the alternate route and make him an axe wielding murder maniac, you could do that too. As I previously said, he does come with the corresponding hands to hold all said accessories with. So that's a nice touch. And he comes with a bottle of maple syrup, <laughs> which is a nice reuse of the whiskey bottle, right? So cookie in one hand, bottle of maple syrup. Yeah, this guy's a lumberjack. You also get a gift box. The gift box opens. And as I previously said in my mall Santa video, that version of the gift box doesn't open. But yes, I'm very aware all the other gift boxes with all the other Santas I have open up. And you get an extra head portrait with a little bit of a winky face going on, right? It is nicely painted. That's one good aspect of everything. I don't think that it totally achieves the winking. Could have been a lot more expressive in that sense. It just looks like one eye is missing or he's just closed one eye. But you can clearly see how it fits on the body, holding the ax, winking at you like, don't worry, this will be painless. <laughs> the actual Great Northern Santa, though, is... Very cool. This is one where I'm like, okay, this is a complete total package idea for this version of a Santa Claus, right? I even like that they changed the beanie hats for a Santa hat. You know what I mean? That's something I had mentioned in my last video where I totally appreciate that, where this hat fits this particular version of Santa Claus, if there has to be one that exists. I love the plaid shirt, the big belt. He's got jeans and the boots. That is the whole dealio with the Naughty or Nice collection. Everything is printed nicely. Everything's sculpted nicely. He's a big, burly Santa Claus man. 
and yes, everything again, like I said, works. The hat will sort of fit on there. You kind of have to push it down for it to stay on totally. But the articulation will be exactly what you've seen with every other Santa Claus within the Naughty or Nice collection. There's nothing changed, nothing new. It's a very basic articulation, but it suits this type of of character, this type of figure. No complaints, didn't have to heat anything up. Plenty of articulation out there, again, for this type of Santa Claus. Although, I will say, in terms of getting the pipe to his mouth, that would have been ideal, right? That would have been very cool. Now, in terms of the barbarian Santa Claus, he comes with a variety of hands, just like the great northern Santa Claus, including this hand, which can hold the axe. The axe is amazing. It's beautifully painted. It has a reindeer skull on it. That's thinking outside the box. And because it has a little bit of a tight grip on the hand, I kept it on as the weapon holding hand. You get the idea. The axe will also come apart if you need to do that for whatever reason. But again, beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted, perfectly fits barbarian Santa Claus. And equally as amazing, if you're interested in photography or this is just not your thing, but a barbarian Santa Claus that can act as a different type of figure for your collection, that might be your thing. And it's totally mine because I love the bear headdress going on. That <laughs> is wild. It's awesome. I would assume, yes, this is a polar bear. Not too cool, you Santa Claus. Those are going extinct. But in either case, it does fit him perfectly. It makes him look like a maniac. And I absolutely love it. It's like from the movie True Grit, right? The dentist guy. That is so flippin' cool. And like I said, with the extra hands, the giant beautiful cape, which we will get to, it's amazing. He also comes with the gift box, which, as I'll reiterate, yes, it does open. And like I said, with the mall Santa Claus, that one doesn't open. So anyways, you get a naughty or nice stand. Those are nice to keep them all nice and upright because this guy is flippin' awesome. <laughs> Not only the tattoos, but it really is the big cape, right? The big old just cape. You, you, you tie it to him. You put his beard down around it. It stays on him beautifully. All the tattoos are fantastic. All the garb. Everything that this Santa Claus is, does, wears. It's freaking awesome. And I love the pointing finger, especially for this type of Santa Claus. If he's pointing at you, you're screwed. All the tattoos beautifully printed. All the articulation works exactly as we've seen with all the previous Santa Clauses. But I like the costume that they've chosen. It's all really well thought out. But the cape itself, it's huge. It has a bendy wire in it. It's not the strongest bendy wire, mind you. But it beautifully illustrates a big flowing cape that would befit a barbarian Santa Claus. So for that alone, with the green eye paint, all the red tattoos, this is by far one of my favorite Santa Clauses they have done. No joke. The mall Santa is hilarious. It's amazing. But this one is its own action figure and one that can blend into other lines, if you so choose, right? In terms of the heights, they're around the six-inch mark. They go with Marvel Legends. They can go with DC Multiverse. They can go with a variety of different things. It's Santa Claus. Have some fun. Turn your brain off. And with all the other Santa Clauses out there, that's the beauty of this line, right? There's a Santa Claus for everyone at this point. So again, if you're more of a Four Horsemen Mythic Legions fan, it might be Barbarian Santa Claus. If you want to give your girlfriend, boyfriend, grandmother something funny for the holidays, definitely the Great Northern Santa. So that will wrap it up for my look at two of the brand new Naughty or Nice Collection Santa Clauses. And I want to say thank you again to my friends over at Fresh Monkey Fiction for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And again, thank you to all of you out there who have stuck with me throughout this month so far, watching all of my nonsensical why are you doing this now in the month of February Christmas videos. That's just when they came out, so have some fun with it. But I'm happy to say these are two great new figures. If you're into the Naughty or Nice collection, maybe you just want one, two, something like that. You don't have to go crazy, but like I said, there's a Santa for everyone, but I highly recommend the Barbarian Santa Claus. So, you've heard my thoughts, now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Santa Claus, of course. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, a big old horn for the barbarian Santa Claus. Now that would have been awesome. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.